Guys, you must have seen in many times in companies management is deciding to change the price of their product either to increase it or decreasing it because of many reasons. But one thing you need to understand that there is a consequence of change in price. Whenever you change your price, demand for the product is affected. Why? Because of the law of demand. In today's video, we are going to talk about the beauty of economics and how it connects with management accounting. By the way, economics and management accounting are very much integrated and it's my personal experience I know that economists and management accountants they you know get along very well so today we are talking about what happens if we change price of a product what would be the consequences to understand this we need to know what is the law of demand before understanding law of demand you need to understand what is the meaning of demand basically demand has two components when we use the word demand we are talking about willingness to buy a product backed by purchasing power so if you want to buy a product and you have the money to buy the product we will say there exists demand for that product for you but if any one of the things are missing means I want to buy a product but I don't have the money or I have the money but I don't want to buy the product that means there is no demand for that product for but when I come to law of demand other things being constant if price of a product increases the quantity demanded for the product goes down and vice versa so in today's lecture we are talking about how principle of economics integrates with management accounting when we are talking about decision making for example in a company we are in a decision making phase and the decision is relating to changing the price of the product if we increase the price 10 percent what will happen if we reduce the price 10 percent what will happen so let me tell you there is no guesswork because there can be severe consequences of this decision so what we do is we look at price elasticity of demand what is price elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand measure the extent of change in demand for a product in response to change in its price i have given you an example here this is the formula for price elasticity of demand percentage change this change triangle is known as delta or you can call it percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price let me tell you this topic is very much relevant for your academics especially for acca f5 paper and cma part one and it also helps you in organization when you are deciding about changing price so whenever you're talking about changing price just don't come up with random solutions don't come up with guesswork always look at the historic records the historic data so i've given you data for a product in year 2020 the price of the product was 2.4 and at this price the company was able to sell 8000 units and then in 2021 the company decided to change the price from 2.4 they increased it to 2.8 dollars and as a result they were able to sell only 6000 units if we have this data we are able to calculate the price elasticity of demand for this particular product have a look how it is calculated and then i will tell you what it means so if i plug in the numbers from the example in this formula for price elasticity of demand percentage change in quantity demanded is basically new quantity minus old quantity divide by old quantity Likewise, in the denominator, percentage change in price is basically new price minus old price divided by old price. So if I plug in the numbers here, new quantity, see this is the new quantity, the latest quantity, this is new, these are old. So the latest quantity is 6000, so it is 6000 minus the old quantity, the old quantity was 8000 divide by the old quantity which is 8000 whole thing divided by new price new price is 2.8 dollars the old price is 2.4 divide by old price which is 2.4 when i solve this 6000 minus 8000 divided by 8000 will give us minus 0 0.25 
and when I solve this 2.8 minus 2.4 divided by 2.4 it will give us 0 0.1666 so when you divide this finally 0.25 divided by 0.166 will give you minus 1.5 so ladies and gentlemen please remember this minus sign we just ignore so what is happening here is we are getting a price elasticity of demand which is equal to 1.5 now comes the interpretation part to understand the interpretation you need to understand the law of demand now the law of demand says if you increase the price the quantity demanded will go down and vice versa so let's assume in an organization you are trying to increase the price by 10 percent if you increase the price obviously the demand will go down but by how much 10 percent no if the price loss of demand of that product is more than one that is more than one 1 1.5 is more than one that means if you increase the price by 10 percent the demand may fall down by 15 or 20 percent and that's huge Likewise, if you calculate price elasticity of demand and if it comes to, for example, if it comes to less than one, what does that mean? If you have a price elasticity of demand for a product which is less than one, that means it is safe. If you increase the price of the product by 10%, demand is bound to go down, but not by 10%, less than proportionate. For example, you increase the price of a product by 10%, but the demand just fell down by 8% or 7%. But what if you have price elasticity of demand equal to 1? This means if you increase the price of the product by 1%, the demand will go down by 1% and vice versa. If you reduce the price of the product by 1%, the demand will increase by 1%. But here, if the price elasticity of demand of a product is 1.5 and you're trying to reduce the price, if you reduce the price by 10%, the demand may increase by more than 10%. That's the beauty of price elasticity of demand. So I hope you have understood that. Never just play with changing the price before thinking about changing the price calculate price elasticity of demand and see what effect it's going to have on the demand of some products may have a price elasticity of demand equal to zero that means no matter what happens whether you increase the price or reduce the price your demand for the product is not changing you continue to sell the same amount of product some products may have a price elasticity of demand for infinity what does price life of demand equal to infinity means that means consumer will continue to buy infinite quantity of a product up to a certain price after that price probably they may not buy so ladies and gentlemen in a nutshell if you are in a company if you are in a decision making role and if you are deciding about changing the price of your product it is advisable first to calculate price elasticity of demand it's very simple percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price once you get the answer ignore the minus sign if you get any minus sign and then look at always comparing it one is it greater than one is it less than one if it is greater than one increasing the price could be devastating if it is less than one increasing the price will bring you higher amount of sales guys i hope you have understood and like this topic if you have any question relating to price elasticity of demand please leave a comment i will reply to you if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel that shows your support to me and my work and my channel and i really appreciate that if you like this video please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit thank you so very much for your precious time